And there it is. Today we're disassembling an Asus X712J laptop. This is a brand new computer. It's so new that uh, I haven't even removed the thingy that covers it all up. It looks like there probably are not any hidden screws, so I'm going to take all the screws that are visible out of the bottom. There are no retainers. And let's see how long they are. As you can see, the back three screws are long and have thicker shafts. The middle three screws are shorter and have thinner shafts. And the bottom four screws that go to the front of the computer are the shortest and they have shafts that appear to be the same size as the middle screws. So make sure when you disassemble this that you keep all of the screws, uh, well, just look at the lengths and make sure that you put them back together correctly. You don't want to put one of these middle ones back where one of the front ones goes. It will punch through and damage your palm rest. Now, we have all the bottom screws out. Let's pry it open. Once you have this side up, that's basically it. Everything will start to come apart. And there it is. Now right off the bat I see something I really don't like. This hard drive just came right up. Uh, there's not much in this computer either. Look at all this. There's there's really not much to this. If you, if you look over this machine, you have one replaceable memory stick here. There's an 8 gig stick in here. And then you have a hard drive. And you have a slot here for an M2 solid state drive. Now I have a 240 gigabyte hard drive style solid state drive that is actually being transferred over from the previous computer. So we're going to take this cable loose here to remove this drive. There are no screws holding this casing on this drive. So what we'll do is we'll just peel it away and put it on the new drive. There are little pins that go in the holes. They're a little grouchy but so be it. Put the cable back and now we have an SSD. I would actually recommend if you're doing an SSD upgrade on this and you're not transferring a, an existing drive so you can reuse your investment, that you get one of these M2 PCI Express NVMe SSDs and put them here. That would be a whole lot better. Just real quick while we're in here, we have a battery that's comically small, frankly, given how big the case is. Uh, we have a bunch of empty space for God knows what reason. Uh, if you get really bored, maybe you could like store Pez candies or something in here. I don't know. If you look at the design of this thing, it's, uh, it, it's actually really empty in here. It's, it's kind of shocking how they didn't use this for extra battery. Um, but it, it is a value um, system. It is a nice value system, but it, it is not a $1,200 gaming rig. So I guess I can't fault them. So you could have an SSD um, and a hard drive or an SSD and another SSD if that's really what you wanted. Um, you can probably upgrade to 32 gigs of RAM if you really, really want to, but you'll have to throw away your existing RAM. I didn't see any RAM soldered on the board, so there's that. Um, the hinge design, I'm actually noticing this hinge reaches out really far and there's a nice solid metal plate. I do like that. So this is probably not going to have hinge issues uh, anytime during its life. So we've done the SSD swap. That's really the only thing we needed to do. So you know how this goes. Reassembly is the reverse of disassembly and it's not really that difficult. Um, I'm not going to bore you with me putting however many screws back in. 
I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Go to JodyBruchon.com for links where you can send me a little cash if this helped you because that helps me continue to make these videos instead of doing other things that pay me more money. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.